Hey guys, figured I'd do a video today on the level 30 Deva set. For those of you that don't know, whenever you get a character on your account to level 30, you unlock a quest called the Wise Disguise. And as you do this on more and more characters on your account, you unlock more parts to a complete set. This set is often referred to as the Deva set or the Flash set. Uh, I don't know why a lot of people choose to call it the Flash set, that's only the name of the leather set. Like for example I have the cloth piece here from my Sork and it's called the Shrewd set on him and the plate set has a different name. But anyways, all you have to do is get to level 30, talk to Himdel here, take the quest, and he is gonna send you on a little scavenger hunt to talk to a bunch of NPCs. So if you give me a second here. I will get to the next NPC and I will update the video from there. Alright, as you can see I'm in Morheim at the second NPC who is at the Slag Balric, Balwark, however you want to say this. And I obviously took the smart flight path down to Oslik Village and then to here. I mean over to the outposts up here and then down to here. I did not run all the way from Kellen Cabin like a moron. Right? 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 Okay, moving on. You talk to this NPC here and then he is going to tell us to go back to Panda to talk to someone out by the airship docks. So, I'll get over to that NPC and show you guys that one as well. Alright, here's the uh, technically third NPC over by the uh, the airship docks so I'm gonna talk to him and now he's gonna ask me to go buy a divine lamp which is sold just on the other side this quest is a lot of running around and if you guys haven't noticed already my DP is full I recommend you buy simple jelly before starting this quest or have one on you for it because at some point it is gonna ask you for 4k DP so you're either gonna want to go farm 4k DP or have a simple ready to pop so you can just turn the quest in when you're ready Okay, here we are at the fourth NPC where we are gonna buy a divine lamp, which is under holy item. Right here, it's 93k, so buy that. And now I'm gonna have to take that back to that original NPC at the air docks. Oh, different NPC at the air docks. So here we are at the very last NPC we need to talk to for this quest. I'm gonna talk to them. And it's going to unlock a new quest called the Ceremony of the Wise. And as you can see now, when I complete this quest, I can select one piece of this set. And like I said, each time you make a new character, you're going to get a new piece to the set. So I already have the chest piece because I got the chest piece on my, uh, my Sork, which was my first one so when I complete this one I don't want to choose the chest piece again you want to select a different piece and keep watching because at the end of the video I will show you how to convert pieces from cloth over to plate or vice versa or over to leather chain whatever you're looking to get so I'm gonna try to go for the greaves this one I like in the big pieces that have the most stats when I uh, first do these sets so, talking to him, he's got to send you to talk to your class proficiency person, which is in the main capital building, so I'm going to run over there real quick. Alright, I'm at the class masters. I am going to talk to each one. Or maybe I have to start with my own class one. It's been a couple weeks since I did this quest, so a little foggy on the details. Right here... Yep, that's it. Now I can go back and talk to that lady on the airship dock again. As you can see, this quest is just a lot of running around. It's not very difficult to do, and the set is actually really decent. If you look at the full set stats, this is the first set you can get that actually has equipment stats. As you can see, with two pieces, it gives you some bonuses. When you get three pieces, it's even more bonuses, and so on and so forth, all the way to five-piece set. 
so it's a pretty decent set for by uh, the time you get to your fifth tune and also once you have all five pieces you can then unlock a weapon for this set which is a pretty nice weapon if I remember correctly so hopefully I will get that done pretty soon as I keep leveling more tunes up to level 30 and then I can just have one tune that's level 30 that's really decked out and ready to go so we're back up at this NPC we gotta talk to them and I believe I fight my way to enlightenment yep and that's to fill your DP which I already did before the quest I do this it does this little ceremony I'm just gonna skip that cutscene and now I can choose my greaves and I have them so now I have two pieces of this set and if I talk to her I can see what the weapons are as you can see they're pretty nice weapons these are it only shows you the weapons that your class can use so I can't see the tome or the book or the staff but they are nice weapons but I cannot get that until I have at least five pieces of the set Alright, for the next stage, since I already have a piece of plate, and obviously I want to convert this over to a piece of plate as well, what I need to do is come back to this NPC where we bought the Divine Lamp, and you need to buy the Divine Light. This item right here is only 58k Kina, so we're going to buy that, and then I will show you the proper NPC in just one moment. Alright, so now that I have my Devonian Light, I am heading down to the Great Temple, which is down the ramp when you first come into Pandemonia. And we are going to go talk to those NPCs standing next to Balder. Now, the one on the right here, Boar, is to exchange the weapon. Well, oh, it's supposed to be for just the weapon only. I guess for some reason they made them either way. So, I am going to use this NPC on the left. I guess it doesn't matter which one. I have cloth armor. I want to trade in the tunic, which is the chest. And I want plate armor. Ooh, he even lets you just choose which piece to get. So if you want to, you could end up accidentally clicking two chest pieces and correcting it later on. So that's pretty cool. But just like that, he takes the item, that little lamp I had, and now I have two pieces, which I toss on. And as you can see, now I get the two-piece set bonus. And as I create more characters, I will get more and more uh, bonuses as I unlock more pieces. And this skin, the skin for this set is actually pretty decent. Some players get it just for the skin. But anyways, that's all I really have for you guys today. If you have any questions or concerns, uh, let me know in the comments below. Let me know how many pieces have you unlocked so far in Aeon Classic. Make sure you like the video, share it to your friends, and if you're not already, subscribe to my channel. And as always, I hope to see you guys in game.